Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It's Sunday, my favorite day of the week. You guys know I live for Sunday. Um, today I'm going to do a, another foundation wear test for you guys. Um, if you guys saw my last video, you know that was probably the worst wear test at, or review of any foundation that I've ever done. When it was disappointing. Um, but today I do have another affordable foundation um to review for you guys and the reason why i bought it i had never even heard of it my sister told me about it she said she loved it um now my sister and i have completely different skin types preferences um she's definitely more of like a natural quick and easy type of makeup girl um i like full coverage glam glitter lashes it's just what i like you know um, but she told me I needed to try this. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation. Um, it says it's high definition finish with medium coverage. So going into this, I already knew it wasn't full coverage. Um, but you know, everything else that it boasts, you know, things that I like. It does have SPF in it, SPF 20. Um, it says shake before use, duh. It says lightweight skin perfecting foundation with medium coverage. Um, so I've already opened it because I was just curious to see if it had a pump or not. And I was actually kind of excited. It has a doe foot applicator. Um, if you guys saw my review of the Physician's Formula one, you guys know this also does have a doe foot applicator. Um, and I really liked it. So, um, you know, we'll try this out. We'll see how we're going. I'm already prepped and primed and ready to go. So we're just going to jump into this bad boy. Um, to blend out my foundation today, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Blender thingy. I love this. Look how huge it is. Like, hold on. This is a beauty blender. This is the Sonia Kashuk thing. Huge. I showed you guys a picture comparing them all dry, wet, whatever, on my Instagram. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, it's BB Becca Lee. And yeah, so let's jump into this. I'm going to, oh, I picked up the shade 300 Sand, by the way. It was only $6.99 at Target, so good price there. I'm going in heavy because I already know it's medium coverage. Now, right away, it feels really creamy, really lightweight, um, and I really like that doe foot. It's actually really, like, spongy and soft. I actually like it better than the Physician's Formula. So let's blend that. That's one coat, um, definitely not full coverage. Feels really nice though, and it blended out really easily. I feel like it um, kind of just gave a nice little soft focus finish over my skin. Um, so you know, that's nice. I'm only doing, we'll do the rest of my face and then I'll go back in with that second layer. Okay, so there's one layer, and I actually think it looks really, really nice. It blended super easily. It probably would get a little bit more full coverage with a brush instead of the Beauty Blender, but I just really like the Beauty Blender or Beauty Sponge finish. Um, so you can definitely still see some of my marks, which, you know, like I said, I came into here knowing it was only medium coverage, so can't fault that. Um, but I think it sat really nice in the skin. It blended in really nice and the color choice I'm actually pretty okay with. I might have been able to go one down, but Target had didn't have all the shades. Um, so I just went with this one because you guys know I'm impatient. Um, but yeah, so, so far so good. This was just one coat. 
I'm gonna go back in probably because of this pimple trying to ruin my life right here. I'm gonna go back in on some areas that I want a little bit more coverage and we'll check in again. There's the final finish. Um, again, you can still see it's definitely not full coverage. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that. It's like the fifth time. Um, but I actually really do like the way that it's sitting on my skin and the way that it feels. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. So I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and check in with you guys before I go out do my Sunday thing. Okay guys, so this is the final makeup. Um, I guess I'll zoom you in real quick. So, looks really nice I think. Um, you, could, you could still see some of my discoloration, but you know, it's my skin. I've learned to deal with it. Um, it kind of like airbrushed it, so it feels really nice. Um, it doesn't, it's not like bunching up weird around here like some of the other drugstore foundations I have. Or like the review I did last week. Oh. Um, no, it looks really, really nice and it looks really matte, which I don't think it says anything about it being a matte finish. Um, but I used all my regular products, so you know, we'll see. Now this 25 hour wear thing, I think that's what we're going to be testing the most. Um, no need to test full coverage, no need to test oiliness, it doesn't really boast that, but it does boast that lasting finish 25 hour long wear. So um, it's the morning right now, we're about to go out to breakfast. I'm going to be outside because I have to go to Trader Joe's again, because I'm always at Trader Joe's. Got to do lots of stuff and then I'm going to be cooking, going to the gym, all that jazz. So it's going to be a busy day. So. We'll see how this guy holds up for $6.99. I'd be pretty surprised if it did. So I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, final check in here. As you can see, um, a bit oilier than I was earlier. Again, um, doesn't boost oil, boost, boast. Does not boast oil control. So I'm not really mad about it and I'm an oily girl. So nothing's gonna change that, you know? Um, but I actually think it looks really, really nice. And even my oiliness, it doesn't necessarily look like I'm just a big grease ball. It's almost a nice little sheen, like natural skin, like fresh wash skin type of oiliness. Maybe I'm just being nice to myself. Um, but I'm, I'm okay with it pretty much is what I'm saying. Would I touch it up? Yes. In fact, you know what? Let's just touch it up just real quick. Just to see how it looks. I'm using a little bit of tart powder. Look at that. I think this looks pretty darn good. I don't see it. In fact, the only thing that I really see breaking up is, again, you know, a little bit right here around my nose. And I see my mascara flaking on my face. Ooh, and my five head girl. We'll just cover that up real quick. Yeah, okay. Um, But other than that, I am super, super impressed. Um, do Am I ever going to know if it's 25 hour long wear? No. I don't keep my makeup on for that long. I'm dying to get this off now because I've been cooking. So like, I feel like when you, does anybody else feel like that when you cook? Just like the oils or, I don't know. Like, I just feel, I feel gross. <laughs> so even with that being said, like me cooking and being over the stove and all that and washing and, um, I think this looks pretty good. Again, not full coverage, just enough. I think this is perfect for work. Um, you know. 
when I don't always need to be full coverage. When, you know what I'm saying? Mm, 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 mm. A little bit of oil right here. This is, this was a good one for me guys. Again, this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable. It is, it honestly is. It feels so good. It feels like, just like that, you know? And I'm in the color 300 Sand. Um, in terms of it oxidizing, I don't think it oxidized too much. In fact, I hardly notice anything at all, so. Good job, Rimmel. Rimmel makes another one of my favorite um, drugstore foundations. I think it's the Superstay by Rimmel. Again, really cheap, beautiful foundation. The only thing I don't like about it is it just doesn't have a pump. It's one of those, which I hate. But this is a go for me. All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching. I look a hot mess. I don't do Thank you guys for watching, and I will, oh, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know down in the comments about any other foundation you want me to review. Again, I have combination leaning more towards oily skin, and yeah, that's it. Is that it? I'm not talking to myself. My dog's going here five seconds ago. Bye. Hold up.